In the event pattern section, I'm going to write a JSON message which filters my event and only triggers my Lambda function when the file name ends in .png. Consider this. You create an event bus using Amazon Event Bridge, and now you want to filter content using event patterns. Can you do this by using an event rule? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Event Bridge service, then click on Event Buses in the left menu. Hit Create, give your event bus a name, then click on the Create button. Click on the Send Events button, then choose the event bus that we just created from the event bus dropdown. Enter an event source, detail type, then scroll down to the event details section. Here, I'm going to enter a JSON message with the key of file name and value of test.png. Then click on the review button. Now we can see our complete event message and how it will be sent to our Lambda target. Next, let's head to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python 3.10 from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to enter a print statement that prints my event, then click on deploy to deploy my changes. Click on test, then hit invoke to invoke your Lambda function and confirm that your function is working as expected. Next, let's head to the event bridge service and this time click on create rule and give it a name. Select the event bus that we just created from the event bus dropdown, then hit next. Choose other for event source, then scroll down to the creation method and select custom pattern. In the event pattern section, I'm going to write a JSON message which filters my event and only triggers my Lambda function when the file name ends in .png. For the JSON message, I'm going to start by defining the key as detail and for value, I'm going to select suffix matching from the predefined pattern dropdown, then hit insert. Let's replace the dollar $string variable with file name and dollar value variable with .png. Hit next, choose lambda function from the target dropdown, then select the lambda function we just created. Click on next, configure tags if you like, then click on the create rule button. Confirm that the rule status now says enabled, then navigate back to the send event window. Now that our rule is configured, and the Lambda function is set as target, we're ready to send our event message. Hit send, navigate to the Lambda window, then click on the monitor tab. Click on the view CloudWatch logs button, then go inside the latest log screen. Here, you should see your event printed in the execution logs with the file name of test.png. Let's do one more test and this time, send an event with the file name of sample.jpg to confirm that our Lambda does not get triggered. Click on review, then hit send and navigate back to the CloudWatch logs window. Go inside the latest log stream and confirm that you don't see any new events in the execution logs. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring Amazon Event Bridge to the comedy club?